Good morning. Welcome to the Beach Business Breakfast Show with Rosemary, our special guest. How are you, Rosemary? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Very good. We're inside today because the surf's a bit... Um, it's a bit wild. A bit it's wild. Cold. So um, <laughs> we we're sort of going to have our like, wild, rugged look, but um, we won't have that today. We've got <laughs> the, the wind going through our hair and everything. It was a bit <laughs> noisy. So yeah, just a reminder, Beach Business Breakfast, third Thursday of every month, Mary with the Surf Club Function Room, which we're, which we're in now. 7.30 till 8.30 gets you great networking with fantastic small business people like Jeremy and myself and Definitely. Rosemary and all the other members. So um, come along, www.beachbusinessbreakfast.com.au for all the details. So Rosemary, thanks for coming. Most welcome. Yep. All right. Nice all right. and early this morning. Yep. Wish, well, we, wish we had some sun, but anyway. Yeah. So water's still nice though. Oh, that's, so. good. <laughs> that's good. So before we start talking about your service office venture, mm -hmm. just tell us a bit about yourself. Like what, what, what sort of led you to that? What, what's your sort of background history? Yeah, um, so I started in hospitality. I've been in hospitality for forever and a day. Yep. Um, worked in industry and um, we bought the building as a guest house, the old Georgian Dragon guest house, mm -hmm. which is next door to the restaurant, which is yep. now closed, unfortunately. Um, hopefully we'll reopen when new buyers come through. Yep. But um, yeah, we had that for five years, so um, I worked business owner in that. Yep. And then um, around October last year, I said to Dion, I think it's time for plan B, the one yep. we talked about years ago. Yep. And he's like, okay, then what do, what do we need to do? Yep. So um, we knew the building needed a lot of time, so yep. that's what we've done for the last few months. So Excellent. So what sort of hospitality did you do before? this? Oh, uh, everything. Yep. Pretty much. Okay. Plus, um, food and beverage, uh, housekeeping, front service, um, guest services, sorry, it's called now, yep. functions, events, weddings, yeah. So is Just that like at a um, hotel? Or uh, hotels, function restaurants, center? function centre, pretty yeah. much all of them. I've worked in them. Okay. Yeah. So you've, you've, this is, you've never had like a Friday night to yourself kind of thing? Not really, <laughs> no, or a weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It's been very nice uh, the last few months with having a weekend, like a full two day yeah. weekend has been quite good. Excellent, and mm. like lots of weddings and yeah, I love birthdays weddings. and that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. If, I, if I didn't own a business, I'd be a wedding coordinator. Okay. But anyway, yeah. that's a whole nother. That's plan C. That's yeah. plan C, D and E and F. And do you have many people with the weddings who like come back for seconds and thirds? Like you go, oh, you, didn't you get married five years ago? And you? Yeah, no, I don't like that. Okay. Oh, I'm not a fan of that, but yeah. I like being at the weddings and working them and setting them all up. So, yeah. yeah. And yeah. seeing the day kick off is good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And I like we, seeing the bride. I'm always interested in seeing what the bride Yeah, is. just a shameless plug. We do weddings here at Marie with a Circle. Of course so, you um, do. <laughs> like getting, getting married, you can use the function room, you get married on the beach, you get married up here, you get married... With everybody watching. The, get, with with all of Newcastle Get married watching. in the gym, if that's your... You probably get married in the gym if you want to, or, um, you know, yeah. So, yeah, you get married here. Um, so, come and get married here if, that, if that's your thing, or if you know not. So, um... So yeah, so with the, with the building, what's the, what's, what are you doing with the building? Like, well, with that, um, the cutting it. Yeah. Pretty, <laughs> no, not pretty much. Um, it's 178 years old, so um, it needs a lots of love and to keep it up to standard and to keep yeah. it for the next 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah, um, yeah so we've just had to do some fair maintenance on the walls. Okay. We pulled down all the wallpaper that was covering a lot of cracks and we're just fixing them all and getting them all back to um, back to what they needed to be. Yeah. So yeah, very Re excited. Removing all the historical charm, I think. No, like not completely. <laughs> There's still a fair bit of charm in the building and historical charm, mm -hmm. but it's just um, making it a bit more 21st century. Like we've yeah. just added all new data cabling, which yeah. was a bit of a nightmare. Uh -huh. um, and we've put new roofs in places that needed it and new guttering and new plumbing and just Make random it. things that needed to be done. Yeah, much brighter and less like fluffy carpet and yeah yeah it doesn't have like big that. flowery wallpaper anymore <laughs> that looks like your grandmother's house okay. it's yeah it's all very neutrals and um yeah bright um bright warm colors i wonder if wallpaper is going to make a comeback but no uh, dear god it does no. as feature walls doesn't yeah. it yeah, feature like, walls are fine okay. yeah can, like yeah. do like the end of a bedroom or something yeah, yeah. Like one wall fancy yeah. wallpaper but yeah it's always hard to get off Wallpaper. It's not hard to get off if you have the right steamer. We, yeah. We've got it down to an art now. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's the putting up and the maintenance that's difficult. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So tell us about what you're doing with the building and like what, what businesses can do with your, yeah. with your service offices. So we're looking mainly for um, businesses that are service-based. Yeah. Um, so oh, 
any of your suit really. Um, you can do lawyer, solicitor, accountant, um, broker of yeah. any type, um, yeah. design, IT, yeah. conveyance, uh, that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. We can't do much medical. We have a few life coaches and psychologists, yeah. Yeah. but um, our, our building's not made out for medical doctors mm -hmm. or specialists like People that. People yeah. need a desk and a quiet room. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Like yeah, and it's a meeting not. room. In a meeting yeah. room, we've got yeah. a big boardroom. That looks um, pretty cool. It yeah. does look good. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. So, how many people can you fit in there? Or is it like um, hot desking, or is it or, or both? Or no, we're not doing hot desking. We're doing yeah. um, virtual offices. Yep. Um, so you get the space, meeting time, postal address. So if you're a business that's working from home and you're just big enough to get out and yeah. you don't want to meet your fa your appointments in in your bedroom or yeah, kitchen yeah. or wherever. Yeah. You can come and meet our, in our spaces. Yeah. Um, and then we're doing long term, so yeah. full time. So the, you provide like a receptionist for people yeah. as well? So yeah. yeah, well, sh she's, um, she's employed by Dion, yeah. um, who is one of our tenants. And yeah. um, eventually, when we have enough people filled, we'll get one full time. And yeah, it'll be, it'll be better, but we're getting there. Yeah. So yeah. small steps. Yeah, so how many businesses can you? So. Um, can see um, we've got space for four at the moment um, yeah. I've got two more um, rooms that are free at the moment so we've mm -hmm. still got room available which is great yeah so it's so. yeah so I, it's interesting because I think there's been a real um, a real shift in the acceptance of like small micro type businesses or working at home but then the reality of doing everything from home mm. sometimes kicks in it's like uh, and you get distracted do you, yeah you need a, a separate area and do you really want your clients like stepping over the dog or mm. the toys or whatever on mm -hmm. the way to your office and things yeah. like that so, or if you have a dog like mine and you have to yell at it all the time just yeah. to keep it out of the way it's a bit of a monster yeah, yeah who loves everybody yeah it's just yeah. easier just to have a space um, and we have a few uh, of our life coaches that they like to work from home still, but they want to meet their clients in a warm, comfortable area that's yeah. neutral, I guess mm. is probably the best way to... Rather than a coffee shop or... Yeah, and, yeah. and it's pri private, it's, you know, you can close the door and no one knows mm. what's said or in those walls and it's, yeah. yeah, I think it's just a great idea. Yeah, you do have good solid walls. So. They are very <laughs> solid walls, yeah. trust like me. Double, I know. double do you brick. Have a, yes, do you have they a good are. coffee machine there? Um, no, but I'm surrounded by cafes. Oh, okay. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, 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 East Maitland's become a yeah. cafe hub. It is. It is. It's yeah. very, it's very good. I love it. Um, yeah. So yeah, the restaurant next door, even though it's closed, I, I'm pretty sure it'll open again. We've got a cafe to the right of us, and mm -hmm. we've got a pub to the left of us, and yeah. there's two little um, coffee kiosks like downstairs. Yeah. yeah. Um, one across the road and one a bit further down, yeah, and they're just pretty well service with coffee. <laughs> very <laughs> much so. Yeah, yeah it's so, very good. So, what sort of marketing are you doing to get the other rooms filled yeah. or you know, um, get the traffic through? Well, a lot of networking. Yeah, a lot of networking. Yeah, um, which I will talk to a brick wall, so it's mm -hmm. fine. Um, yeah. We're doing a lot of Gumtree, funnily enough. Okay. And it's working really well. Yeah. Um, it's free, so yeah. why not? It's a good price, yeah. It yeah. is a good price. And we've bumped a few of our ads up and put a little <coughs> bit of money on them to yeah, see yeah. if they've changed. But because you can put so many different categories yeah. and they're all free. And yeah. like, so you can do like an ad for psychologists and an ad for yeah, electrician. Yeah. Right? Well, ad for, well, we've done yeah. one for the serviced offices, one for virtual offices, and then one for like tutoring space. So if yeah. you're a tutor and you yeah. need a space to have your school kids or your yeah. uni students come to, because we're so close to the train station. Yeah. Um, that was near, a, is it near a school? Um, two. Two high schools good. and yeah. two public schools. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tutoring could be a good thing, especially after hours. Yeah, it was yeah. a bit of a brainstorm we had mm. one day while we were putting furniture in a room. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know where it came so from. What what sort of wording are you putting in the ad? So like dig in a little bit. What 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 do you say? You go just like, Hey, we've got offices, you should come <laughs> and talk to us. Or like, no, no, no. How it, do you pitch um, it? We pitch it as um, East Maitland serviced offices with character. Okay. Yep. Um, because when our building isn't a plain cut grey white building yep. um, it's got character so yeah. that's the way we pitch it um, and we just say that we're in prime East Maitland hub which we're we're on the borders of but we're close enough to um, and 
that we just the things that we offer in it basically how close we are to Green Hills, Maitland, the train stations. Um, we're not that far from Newcastle, New East Maitland Court. Yeah. yeah, we just try and show that we're quite central and we're on a main road. We're not on the highway, but we're on a main road, so yeah. that's quite good too. Mm. Yeah, and what about um, Facebook? LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook yeah, website? Facebook and LinkedIn always. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our do Facebook you, page is getting there. Do you do the um, like the stuff you do on Gumtree, do you do similar on Facebook? Yeah, pretty LinkedIn? much yeah. copy and paste. Copy and paste, yeah. Um, We've got, we're 85 likes on Facebook, so I'm getting there. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's a slow build. You need <laughs> it is to make sure build. it's the right likes. That's the mm, thing. Like, that's you can true. get lots of yeah, likes. Don't buy them or anything. Yeah, no, like no, that. no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, lots, of, <coughs> lots of likes, which makes you appear popular, but mm. um, when you scratch the surface, you don't really get much out no. of it. No, but most of them are, um, we've done a few paid uh, uh, boosts on our posts because they've yeah. had great yeah. coverage, so we've just yeah. done a boost them a little bit more yeah. just to see if they go further. Yeah. Um, how, just how much did you spend on that? Just, just $7. Yeah, so you can just do, the basic. You can, do, you can do some good things for a little bit of money. Yeah, and it's yeah. not too ex inexpensive. Like It's not expensive to do. Yeah. So You can do little experiments. Mm. And, and you can really segment your market in mm. a boost as well now. So well, you can that's what we've been doing, but I think I'm segmenting it a little bit too much. Too much. <laughs> okay, yeah. You're not spending any budget. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sort of <coughs> You're after people who are one, within one kilometre of East Maitland. No, no, no. Um, I'm doing <laughs> um, Central Coast, Sydney, um, oh, wow. up to Scone and up to... Um, Bulladila area, yeah. Tari, because a lot of them, pe a lot of people will travel if they've got clients in that area, yeah. especially Maitland. Yep. Um, yeah. A lot of um, insurance brokers travel up from Sydney. Um, they might want a spot. To, yeah, they might need yeah. a spot for an Trend. hour or two. So yeah, that's how, why. I've how been. did you decide what like interest sort of demographic stuff to pick for you? Um, mainly, uh, it's mainly through property. I usually do all the property. Um, interests, um, okay. investment, um, brokering, um, any barristers, lawyers, that kind of thing. Yeah, I yeah. only segment it to job more than yeah. Um, yeah. more than interest, I guess. Yeah, probably. so you've done like vo yeah, vocational segmenting yeah, instead yeah. of like people who like dogs that won't behave or something. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Because <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to find the right people, not, um, I don't want it just everybody I I'd like to have. Mm. I want to have a like group. Oh. in the building so yeah. i want the same sort of yeah. roughly the same sort of business. yeah so with, with, the, with the people who take the space mm -hmm. i suppose for them it's just do they pay like a fee and that includes everything or can they yeah, most, choose what they get most pretty much everything um the only thing that we've added um or that isn't included is pretty much landline phones yeah. um that's because 90 percent of our businesses that have been acquired are mobile based yeah. and they use their mobile phones and they don't yeah. need a landline yeah. um so if they want it, then we've got it. We've got PBX phones yep. um, set up through VoIP, yep. so we can add that yep. um, at a nominal fee. It's not very much. Yep. I can't remember the total amount, mm -hmm. but pretty much everything else is included. Yeah. It's great doing it digitally, so you don't need to rewire anything when you want to yeah. give them yeah. a phone. And I don't, I don't want to know about wiring, rewiring. It makes you want to the future of landline phones. It does. Yeah. So um, yeah, we not like I said, ninety percent of our businesses aren't using them. So yeah. we've just we've included our MBN and our Wi-Fi um, yeah. instead of having the landline phone. Yeah. So it was either or. Are you no, using your MBN as a selling point, like how fast your internet is or anything like that? Um, no, I haven't really thought about it to be honest. Okay. Um, most people haven't really. They don't. They just as long as there's the internet, or well, they don't. Yeah, even that's pretty much it. They don't. Yeah, they're happy with it. more meeting time. They want meeting spaces yeah. that isn't in their office. So they've got the room, and then we've got three dedicated meeting spaces. One yeah. including our boardroom, which has got ten to twelve. Can seat ten to twelve. Yeah. Um, and we can do catering options um, if they're interested yeah. in that. Um, and we've got two kitchens, one a client kitchen and we've got our own kitchen so no one can see it. Um, and they just want to go out of their office and meet and then come yeah. back and work in their space. So they can have their desk messy. And and so they, is there like a booking system? To yeah. The, I've just rooms? started with that. I'm playing with it at the moment. Okay. Yep. Um, it's called Nexodus. Um, I was yep. talking to Jeremy about it the other day. Yeah, it's quite good. Um, so yeah, it's. Um, <laughs> I got so referred to that, so that was okay. good. It's all self-serving, like oh, yeah. pick your time and room and yeah. all that. Yeah, and it invoices cool. and it oh, links nice. up to zero and it oh, links okay. up to our pay, how we yeah. pay, and yeah, oh, so yeah. I'm, I'm setting up that. How yeah. So you mentioned briefly, like you're sort of aiming to make a bit of, give it some culture, I guess, or yep. sort of your, to a degree, your hand picking the people who come along, like I guess, 
it's always hard to say no I don't want you because you're not a good fit for the no no I'll never say no but (coughs) I'll if they change then I won't mind like if it doesn't fit them then I won't mind but we've got a few that don't fit the group anyway but at the moment I don't really mind in like 10 years time it'd be nice to kind of refine that over time I guess so you can say like oh they're all um, kind of I want them to certain work. Certain tile of professional person yeah. that can oh. in- interact and yeah. network a little bit. And it's it's pretty much. Um, I'd like a co-working hub, basically. Um, that's the professional term for it. Yeah. Um, just to, so they can refer off each other. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's become that's quite a uh, popular kind of concept, I guess. Like mm. one of the headline ones in the US is um, uh, We Work, which is like a really big. Yeah. Like, co-working they're, they're space. They're talking like. Hundreds, hundreds of people, of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's, a, there's another one that started up recently in um, Sydney and Melbourne, I forget the name. And there's one here in Charlestown called um, Dantia, or Dash, it's run, yeah. um, it's in Charlestown, it's a co-working hub, and mm-hmm. I talk to them a lot as well, yeah. just um, they're on a massive scale compared to me, but um, yeah. it's something I'd like to do in the future. But mm. it's a value add that's not just like a bunch of offices mm. that people just sort of, like a, I don't know, like a work cubicle you just yeah, turn yeah, up yeah. to if you can... It's, give people a reason to like, well, I mean, you've got like a nice courtyard, so you say, okay, well, introduce all these people and sit down and have coffee and mm-hmm. once every week or something like, like that. Hotel, like everyone takes their room, but then you've got a Yeah, a space where you can all meet and, and meet and talk yeah. about yeah. business. And, and, the, and the co-working hubs, it's good because, you know, if you need, say you've got a, a graphic designer and you've got an IT person, you can refer off each other mm. and bounce ideas and mm. that's the kind of thing that I'd like. So, yeah, yeah we have... Um, we have a solicitor and um, a graphic designer and a mortgage broker and a psychologist and a couple of life coaches. So they're mm-hmm. all... This is where your hospitality skills can come in action, you see, because yeah. the, the, the other business hubs have always had the ambition of this kind of like network mm. function, but I'm not sure how well that's always worked because it's not been approached in a like hospitality kind of way mm. it's like mm. and and also they're often at the behest of well we need tenants yeah yeah which yeah. is well kind of, we yeah. need tenants too <coughs> but um i just want to make everybody happy yeah and yeah. i i struggle <coughs> to um you know, your, your to space really will probably self-select a little bit as well it like will. you don't have um the classic like warehouse shed type no. space or, mm. or like really big offices so no. you are by nature of the space, you will get the one and two person yep. type operation who... Three max, yeah. I think. Yeah, and, and that will, yeah. it'll deliberately contain it to a kind of a, a growth or a phase of a business that's yeah. not, um, you know, the, the bank or whatever is not going to st- set up one of their regional offices mm. with you no, necessarily no, no. there. If someone wants to hire out the whole building and they've got the right price, then well, sure, yeah. that's more than welcome to. But um, you know, it's still uh, at the end of the day, it's my building, and I'm I'm mm. happy to keep it that way. And um, is the plan to buy more buildings and sort of expand? Take I hope to. Restaurant? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> if I had the dollars, I would. Yeah, or um, maybe take it over and turn it into more space. Yeah, that was yeah. The, mm. that was one of the plans, but um, yeah. we don't, we can't at the moment. But yeah. if this if this works yeah. as a model in a yeah. sense, then you can yeah. go. Okay, well, what other um, historical buildings in Maitland, Maitland. can we yeah. refurbish or something? Well, there's a lot, actually. Yeah, there there's a, a fair <coughs> bit, but um, council is a little bit difficult. So yeah. um, well, you've we got to get the owners of the building to agree yeah. to do something, I suppose, too. Which yeah, is and um, Maitland needs a spaces. Although, when we first started, um, we had a lot of real estate agents saying, oh, you can't hire a space in Maitland. There's no... I'm struggling to get tenants for yeah. my hires. That was all the real estate agents there. Oh, I can't get tenants. I can't get tenants. So mm-hmm. um, I think it's just the way it's promoted and the style. Yeah. And, um, and the, yeah, as you said, the building sort of selects but, where you're yeah, going yeah. because they are just out of the, the work from homes that are just big enough but don't want a massive space yet yeah. or can't have a big <coughs> space. Or, um, just don't want the hassle. Don't want the hassle. Yeah. And there's a um, there's a business down in Adelaide that we talk to a fair, a fair bit, and he says a lot about downsizing businesses. Yeah, yeah. So they're used to um, they're used to paying rent, and they're used to knowing having having an office, but yeah. Yeah. they don't need it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Don't need a whole separate space anymore. Yeah. 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 So um, that's another market that we mm. haven't tapped into yet because they're very hard to find. But yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, that's yeah. A, it's a good um, a good point, and I think Maitland um, for anybody who does have no idea where Maitland is, it's it is becoming more of a um, like an economic hub, like mm-hmm. and, mm, very much and so. 
people are getting used to the idea that, oh, I can kind of run a business from there and mm -hmm. centralise myself there. I don't have to attach myself to Newcastle mm -hmm. or some yeah. Sydney or something well, like a, that. A lot with the service guys these days, you don't, you know, you might see a client and then that's it. Mm. You have a lot of it you do by phone, yep. email, internet, whatever. Yep, that's very and true. And yeah, you might just you might need to once sign. a year or six, maybe yeah. six months yeah. or, you know, they've got to come sign stuff or yep. you go see them. So yeah, well, there's like, less pressure on. Dion would be classic mm. for that is mm. yeah. like, doing loans I mean you might see one person a day or I don't know like it's not going to be you don't have a lineup of people like a doctor's surgery no, or something no, do you yeah, so no, exactly right yeah. so um, it makes it good for time like slotting in our calendar but um it's really interesting to find that um, people from Scone, Tamworth, Corindai, that kind of thing will come to Maitland travel two or three hours De Denman, Musselbrook will mm -hmm. travel to Maitland easy enough it's just a drive down the road. Yeah, yeah. But to get people from Newcastle, out of Newcastle to Maitland is like pulling <laughs> hen's teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard enough to get them just like 10 k's up the road yeah. to Charlestown or something. It's so difficult. <coughs> they think they're driving out to the sticks and it's just so weird that... Yeah. Um, well, maybe that think, shows you where your market is though. It might it is. be that. Sort it of is that's and, north and, south. and that's why with our promoting with Facebook, mm. we've done out to Scone, regional. Yeah. more regional yeah. because they don't care. Is there yeah. anything else that's really surprised you that you weren't expecting as you're kind of getting organised that people, like people's attitudes or what they've actually asked for, like unexpected um, requests, like people have asked for certain pot plants or something? Or uh, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, like the paint, I want it to be green. Oh, I had a gentleman who wanted blue and then the blue didn't work so we went with hog bristle, which is just... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you painted the wall twice for him? No, 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 we sample potted. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 the walls take too much to paint. No, 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 it was a yeah. tiny little patch and it just didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So we went, no, sorry, I win, hog bristle. <laughs> um, anything interesting? Um, no, a lot of people don't know what they are. You say I own serviced offices or I lease oh. serviced offices and they're like, what's that? Yeah, yeah, so it hasn't really caught a sort of mass attention. Mm. No. It's, it's maybe, it's probably a, something that like trendy people in Sydney would know what they are. Yeah, but yeah. But really yeah. in the... In, this in a area. regional context, it's yeah. like, oh, so, yeah, what is what, that? What is that and like? what does it involve and what do you do? And, and, yeah. then, and then the next question from that is, well, what do you do? Like, what am I doing after they're all filled? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, and well, I'm well. like, oh, well, I get to do what I want to do. I yeah. get to go and back and study. I get to yeah. go and help or, my or business. Buy, buy another building. Buy another building and, and refurb or yeah. help my husband's business, you know. Yeah. It's, There's it's, lots of things. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. a bit like having rental properties right yeah. still, except they're all in one space so mm. and you are diversifying because <clears throat> they're all different businesses so yeah. it's not like you're it's like having six or seven different tenants or something pretty it's, much you know that's kind and of coming from hospitality where you work 40 plus hours in a week to have time to do what I want to do is mm. totally just foreign not having yeah. to cook breakfast yeah get cook up breakfast early, and clean beds. and yeah yeah and <laughs> yeah. you know check in check out and worry about people all the time it's just a nice yeah. yeah, change. Probably yeah. quite timely because I guess the rise of um, like Airbnb and yes. people who are now becoming like accommodation in their house, mm -hmm. <clears throat> quite, you know, what, not forget about legitimacy of that or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, it certainly seems like that potentially eats into the smaller kind of professional yes. bed and breakfast in a sense that are not you not big enough your, to be a motel you pretty much yeah. can and then yeah. with TripAdvisor as well just damaging your business if you even if you get one bad comment because yeah, yeah. you can't change it you can't remove it unless mm. you sell the so business or close it down it, yeah. you have to reply to it and hope that the people reading it understand that this from. person was just silly or <coughs> they're just having a bad day having yeah. a bad day yeah. or whatever and I find that a lot of people now they um they don't want to they want to pay backpacker price for ridges luxury. Yeah, champagne taste on a beer budget. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah. and um, that makes it harder for a small building. And you have to have um, I think um, was it Foxtel or one of the big companies to have those luxuries yeah. in your hotel room. You have to have at least. <clears throat> 15 rooms. Yeah, so you never get the economies of scale of, no. say, a small, no. like most, most small motel, regional motels are At yeah, least 15 20, to 25 yeah. rooms, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And that is enough to run by, say, a couple or a, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. two or three people, and they can handle the maintenance and they can handle the guests and things. Yeah, yeah. But under that, yeah, it becomes a problem because it's like, well... You can't hire yeah. anyone because there goes your profit and yeah. you have to do everything and then you're there all the time. All the time. Yeah. All the yeah. time. Yeah. And, um, and you don't get the discounts. 
So if you want to add new beds, you can only buying five instead of fifty. Mm. Yeah. And the company won't give you a discount because you're only yes. buying five. All, all the all the That's expenses kind of, of, miss out of a, yeah, yeah. all the expenses of an individual purchase and yeah. none of the benefits of scale. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of thing, um, it, it's making it harder and harder. Yeah. But um. So Rosemary, what's the um, best bit of business advice you've ever been given? Um. Hmm. Throughout your hospitality and that's a hard question. Career. Um, I have to take it from Dory. Just keep swimming. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Yeah. I have to take. Just keep going. Yeah, just which keep quite, going. Which is quite apt just, for what we're here. Yes, so. very much so. Just keep smiling and just keep moving yeah. along and doing I think what you're you do and keep smiling and keep <laughs> swimming. So that's good. So very much so. Yeah, well, thanks for coming in. That Most welcome. Great. Um, yeah. So if you're looking for a serviced office, um, give Rosemary a call. She's on our directory, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. She's not. She will be very soon. So, um, <laughs> and just a reminder, Beach Business Breakfast, third Thursday of every month, um, over the Surf Club Function Room. So, thank, thank you very much for having me. Enjoy the rest thank of you. your day. And Thanks very we'll much. We'll do. We'll see you all next time.